Gosh, guys, well, Alex Atkins and Mike Norvell quit cooking with hot grease on the trail because it is getting exhausting putting these videos and updates out for you to try to talk about these transfer portal. Uh, guys, I'm talking about redshirt sophomore offensive tackle Jeremiah Byers. This is a guy that Florida State fans really, really wanted. He's 6'5", 315 pounds, a little bit less on, on his thing. I think he's around 6'3", 6'4", uh, about 300 pounds, but – very excited to see, nonetheless, this is a transfer prospect that I believe is number six on on three's transfer portal rankings, which is very impressive to see. I thought Casey Roddick was a guy that was very efficient. I thought he was a guy that could be able to be a plug-in player at the very least, a high-quality reserve at the offensive guard position. But Jeremiah Byers is a certified tackle and he has a 79.4 overall PFF grade. He has an 83.2 pass block grade. And then also on his run block grade, he has a 79.3. He showcased his talents this season. And not only this this past season, he did it in 2021 as well, where he had a 70, 72.7 PFF grade as well. He played over 800 snaps. I mean, this is a guy that was very, very, very productive. He's going to have about two more seasons left of eligibility. I believe he is a redshirt sophomore or junior. I can't remember which one. He may even have three if I remember. But um, just looking back at him, I think this was a guy that Florida State fans were kind of worrisome about because he did go on that official visit. He was rumored to go over to Oregon and Ohio State. They kind of got him offered. and You know, it was just kind of a situation where Florida State fans were a little bit more concerned. But Alex Atkins and Mike Norvell, just like they always do, uh, this is a situation where Florida State capitalized on an opportunity. And I think this is a huge, huge gift for Florida State because guess what? You're not having to rely on a Bless Harris that just had an upper body injury that was out for the rest of this past season. And then you also have a Julian Armella, who I think is very talented, but he is a little bit more younger. So you're having to uh, forget about those two guys that are a little bit less experienced or a little bit more risk. And having a guy like Byers come in to the very least being a high-quality reserve, that is a huge, massive leap for Florida State as they continue to grow from this 9-3 regular season and can, and capitalize into a double-digit win regular season next year, hopefully. Uh, but we'll definitely see how that falls out. But very excited to get Jeremiah Byers. I think this is a huge game that Florida State could not resist and could not uh, forget to close on because the offensive tackles in this recruiting class – with transfer portal and also with other guys as well. You got a guy like uh, Chris Ferrato um, that could be committing pretty soon, uh, hopefully on Wednesday. You got a guy like Lucas Simmons who you thought is a very, very talented prospect that's committed to the class. And then you got a guy like Casey Roddick who is going to be a talented guard that you have for him. But you needed that surefire tackle while Otto and even a Simmons is kind of developing their projects and everything. But just overall, I think that was a huge gift for Florida State and can't express how excited I am for Florida State to be able to get this massive commitment as he comes and enrolls early into the campus. But I really appreciate all the love and support. Just a quick video today. If, uh, be sure to like the video, comment your thoughts, and also subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell button at the top of the right-hand corner, and that way you'll be notified every time that I go live or have a video or anything like that in terms of any kind of Florida State topics. But I really appreciate all the love and support. And as always, go Noles.